So one of the biggest issues when people want to make video games is being able to break the problem down into lots of uh, different steps and how to take those steps. So uh, when you learn a new game engine, like for example Godot, uh, it's fine having a great idea, that's awesome, but the problem is how to implement that idea. Sometimes it's not as easy as it seems, and being able to break a problem down into uh, achievable chunks is one of the most important things that you can actually learn how to do. In this video series, what I'm quickly going to do is I'm going to take a, some simple video games, I'm going to break them down into their different chunks, and then we'll have a series of videos to implement each of those chunks individually and put them together into a single game. So with platform games, what kind of makes up a platform game? Uh, most of you will be familiar with platform games. And if you look at some of the examples that we've got running here, the, the key things that most platform games share is that you have some sort of platform behavior that you can move around and you can jump onto these platforms. Um, the platform behavior is one of the key things that makes the, the game fun. Uh, that needs to be kind of one of the fun things. If it's not fun to move around like that, um, then it's not fun to play. Other key things that you'll need to want to do, uh, so moving and jumping, is is usually most of the games you actually just collect some things. So uh, in pretty much every single game, there's a point of going um, through this map. Uh, usually along the way, you'll collect things or you'll kill things or you'll jump on things. And the last thing is uh, that you um, have a way of winning and losing. Um, pretty much all these games have that in common in that uh, there is a purpose. You're playing the game in order to get to the end of the level, uh, where I assume you win, um, depending on how many levels there is. And there's obviously some challenge within that game. There's obviously a way to lose. Uh, all platform games share uh, these things in common, so it's a pretty simple uh, concept. Um, in this uh, video series, we're going to uh, run through each of these. How do we get a platform character moving and jumping? Uh, we're going to move on to collecting things, and um, we're going to also move on to uh, that whole win condition and lose condition in the simplest platformer uh, game that we can possibly make. Stay tuned and hopefully uh, this will be fun.